If you have any deodorant or lotions on, there's little wipes, and we need to take that off. Sometimes they have um, aluminum chlorhydrate, and that shows up on the pictures. They explain and answer questions, right so here. don't be afraid. My name is Susan. I'm going to do your mammogram this morning. Come right in this room here. My technician, Susan, tells me everything she's doing, so there are no surprises. Okay, now the compression's coming down. Okay. It's going to really pull on your skin. Mm -hmm. You're going to feel it stretching way up on your neck. A little more pushing and gentle poking to get a perfect picture. And you're doing all right still? Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to take the exposure now. You just hold real still. The compression again, it's going to be right up against your ribs. Mm -hmm. Be a little bit more uncomfortable than that first one. The way I look at it, a few seconds of discomfort and a little pain could save my life. I'm all right with that. Two different angles and squishing for each breast, about 10 minutes, and you're done. The density is how much whiteness do you see mm -hmm. on the film compared to the darker areas. And so this is more dense, but that is normal looking dense tissue. Dr. Scott Kendall knows what to look for. Basically we're looking for masses, we're looking for tiny calcifications, and we're looking for something called architectural distortion. Anything solid looking will get a second closer picture and if it's still unclear they'll do an ultrasound which gives the clearest idea of what it is. The survival rate is uh, tremendously good when it's caught at an early stage. Dr. Kendall's concern is that Utah ranks low for screenings. Women over 50 are good about it, but Utah women between 40 and 50 are so bad it drags the average down. Current recommendation from the American Cancer Society is that women in their 20s and 30s would have a clinical breast exam. Uh, that's by their physician or healthcare provider who's trained to do that exam every three years in the 20s and 30s and then yearly uh, after the age of 40. You should start getting mammograms at age 40 unless you have a close relative who's had breast cancer. Then you need to ask your doctor. Now go get screened. Mary Nichols, 2 News.